Today we're in Portland, Oregon to drive the latest from Dodge. No, no, it's not that one. <laughs> it's actually this one. This is the new 2015 Dodge Challenger RT with the Scat Pack. 6.4 liters of power. The challenge, as it may be, was to make it better, but without losing anything that already appealed to Dodge enthusiasts. Since the launch in 2009, the Challenger has been a sales hit. Now, Dodge wants to capitalize on that success with the new 305 horsepower SXT V6 and the insane 707 horsepower supercharged Hellcat. The V8s are in the middle with this Scat Pack model going for around $40,000. So this car right here is the sweet spot. It's the 6.4 liter V8 that puts out 485 horsepower and 475 pound-feet of torque. Yes, you could get the V6 and it is properly quick, but if you're gonna get a Challenger, why not? And it makes such wonderful noises. So let's talk economy. Big V8, probably really lousy gas mileage. But you know what? It's really not bad. 23 miles to the gallon on the freeway, 14 around the city, probably less if you actually drive it like I'm driving it. But, you know, given the amount of horsepower, that's pretty good, especially if you compare it to those old cars. Because those old cars, I mean, it's, you know, 10, 11, if you're lucky. Now for some perspective. The 1968 Super B was Dodge's first affordable muscle car. This fully restored 1969 example, owned by Steve Cook of Portland, Oregon, features a four-speed manual transmission connected to a 383 cubic inch big block. The functional Ram Charger air scoop, bright colors, and cartoon mascot signaled this car was different. It wanted attention, and it got it. It's that same attitude that's present in the 2015 Challenger RT Scat Pack. It even has the Cartoon B. Unlike the original, this car is flush with modern amenities, from a leather-wrapped steering wheel to advanced touchscreen navigation. Even the back seats are fully functional for adults over six feet tall. Seriously, once you get in there, tons of room. Then there's the engine. This Scat Pack gets a big 6.4 liter V8 to challenge rivals like the Mustang GT and the Camaro SS. Unlike the 1960s car, this one actually has big brakes. Now to see how it all comes together with a lap at Portland International Raceway. In the wet, 485 horses can be a handful. <laughs> it's so sketchy out here. But thanks to predictable handling and smooth power delivery, we did manage to have some fun in the process. <laughs> Caught it. great thing about these type of cars are that you can take them to the track. You can drive the heck out of them. And then when you're done, you just drive home. And it's a perfectly tractable, perfectly drivable, and perfectly fun way to go. 